journey with us into this magical land where every story is a portal to a place where the ordinary meets the extraordinary. Welcome to the Chronicles of Enchantment. Let the tale begin. I and Her Talking Kitten Chapter 1 The Enchanted Map The wind whispered through the ancient eaves as Aya, a young detective with an insatiable curiosity, and her talkative feline companion, Mimi, sifted through the dusty relics of Aya's grandfather's attic. Among the forgotten treasures, they stumbled upon a weathered parchment, an enchanted map, its edges tinged with the sepia of years long past. Intricate illustrations adorned the map, depicting a city untouched by the hands of time. The landmark seemed to shimmer with an ethereal glow, promising secrets that begged to be unveiled. Aya traced her fingers over the aged parchment, feeling the latent magic coursing through its fibers. The map bore cryptic symbols, whispered messages from a bygone era, teasing the duel with the allure of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Mimi, perched on a stack of old books, blinked her emerald eyes as if to say, Shall we embark on an adventure, Aya? Under the soft luminescence of an antique lamp, Aya traced the meandering pathways with her gaze. It was as if the map held a silent promise, an invitation to explore hidden corners, unlocking the secrets that time had forgotten. The enchanted map hinted at lamp-lit alleys, shadow-laden archways, and unexplored territories that awaited the touch of discovery. Aya felt a surge of anticipation, a thrill coursing through her veins, as if the map itself pulsed with a heartbeat. As the moon hung low in the night sky, casting a silvery glow on the attic floor, Aya and Mimi decided to accept the invitation. The enchanted map, with its silent promises and cryptic whispers, marked the beginning of an extraordinary journey one that would lead them into the heart of a city veiled in the mists of time, ready to unfold its tales to those daring enough to listen. Chapter 2 Lamplight Labyrinths Guided by the enchanted map, Aya and Mimi stepped into the hushed embrace of lamplit alleys, their footsteps echoing against cobblestone streets as if in sync with the heartbeat of the ancient city. Shadows played on the walls, conspiring to reveal the city's long-held secrets. The lampposts, adorned with ornate ironwork, cast a warm glow that danced with the enchantment of bygone eras. Aya and Mimi meandered through the narrow passages, each step unraveling a tapestry of stories whispered by the wind, tales etched into the very stones that paved their way. As they ventured deeper, the city unveiled its architectural wonders, archways adorned with intricate carvings, buildings bearing witness to the passage of countless seasons. I am marveled at the blend of styles, a symphony of centuries converging in a harmonious cacophony. The air carried fragments of melodies from distant times, Melodies that resonated with the laughter of generations long gone. Mimi, ever watchful, twitched her whiskers as if attuned to the rhythms of the past. It was a journey through a living museum, where every step echoed the stories of those who had tread before. The enchanted map guided them to a crossroads where the lamp-lit alleys intersected like the veins of an ancient creature. Aya noticed a subtle shift in the air, a whispering breeze that beckoned them toward a concealed courtyard bathed in moonlight. In the heart of the courtyard stood an ornate fountain, 
its waters glistening in the celestial glow. Aya and Nini approached with cautious awe, the fountain unveiling a hidden compartment, a compartment that cradled a weathered journal, its pages filled with faded ink and the musings of a forgotten pen. With the discovery of the journal, the lamp-lit alleys and whispering shadows promised an unfolding narrative, a narrative that would intertwine Aya and Mimi with the lives of those who once roamed these enchanted streets. The ancient city, with its secrets carefully guarded, welcomed its newest explorers, ready to inscribe their tale within its timeless embrace. Chapter 3 the Whispering Archway Aya delicately turned the pages of the weathered journal, each one telling a story that bridged the present with the echoes of forgotten laughter. The ink, though faded, resonated with the vibrancy of lives lived in dreams pursued in the heart of the city's labyrinthine alleys. The entries revealed tales of love lost and found, of merchants haggling in bustling marketplaces, and of artists sketching the city's beauty in every stroke. It chronicled the celebrations that echoed through the narrow streets, a cacophony of joy that had long since dissipated into the silent embrace of time. Mimi, perched on Aya's shoulder, observed the words as if decoding a secret language. The two friends absorbed the stories, feeling the city's pulse beating in synchrony with their own. Guided by the journal's cryptic hints, Aya and Mimi ventured deeper into the heart of the city. The alleys seemed to respond to their presence, revealing hidden alcoves adorned with forgotten murals and courtyards where statues stood guard over centuries-old tales. As they traversed the labyrinth, they stumbled upon a market square that, in its heyday, had been the epicenter of trade and camaraderie. The stalls, now covered in a fine layer of dust, once displayed treasures from far-off lands and trinkets that spoke of adventures untold. The city, though frozen in time, emanated a vibrant energy, a tapestry woven with threads of laughter, tears, and the resilience of those who had called it home. Aya and Mimi became custodians of these tales, their presence rekindling the ancient spirits that lingered within the stones. With every step, the city's secrets unfurled like petals in bloom, inviting Aya and Mimi to decipher the narratives etched into the very essence of the lamp-lit alleys and whispering shadows. The journal, a key to the labyrinth of memories, promised an odyssey through time, where the past and present danced in a poignant symphony of remembrance. Chapter 4 the Resonance of Whispers Aya and Mimi found themselves standing before a grand library, its towering spires reaching toward the heavens. The journal's cryptic hints had led them to this repository of knowledge, where books with ancient bindings whispered tales of forgotten wisdom. As they entered the library, the air hummed with the resonance of whispers, the collective voice of generations eager to share their stories. Bookshelves stretched like sentinels, guarding the mysteries hidden within leather-bound tomes and parchment scrolls. The librarian, a spectral figure with eyes gleaming with the light of a thousand stories, greeted Aya and Mimi. Seekers of the past, welcome. The librarian's voice echoed through the vast hall, resonating with the hallowed air. The duo explained their quest to unlock the secrets of the city and its enigmatic laughter. The librarian, with a knowing smile, guided them to a section labeled Chronicles of Echoes. 
Aya and Nini gingerly traced their fingers over spines that bore witness to epochs long past. Choosing a particularly ancient volume, Aya opened its cover, revealing delicate pages adorned with intricate calligraphy. The text spoke of a festival, a jubilation that echoed through the city's veins, its heartbeat captured in the verses of a long-forgotten poet. Mimi, with a twinkle in her eye, pointed to an illustration depicting a masked carnival where laughter intermingled with the strains of melodic instruments. The duo felt transported to a bygone era, sharing the joy that once reverberated through cobblestone streets. As I and Mimi delved deeper into the pages, the laughter of the past became an anthem, a melody that transcended time. The city, once dormant, now pulsed with renewed vigor as if acknowledging the duo's quest to revive its forgotten tales. Leaving the library, Aya and Mimi carried not only the ancient book, but also the essence of laughter that clung to them like a benevolent spirit. The echoes of forgotten laughter now harmonized with the present, weaving a tapestry of timeless joy that fluttered through the city's alleys, embracing the past and present in a symphony of enduring mirth. <laughs>